Welcome, 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 welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It is good to be back. Uh, we're going to get into Gary Antoine Russell and uh, Alberto Puejo uh, in what is a battle of undefeated prospects, you could say. Really interesting fight on the Tank Davis Frank Martin card. Uh, before we get into all that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow Free Boxing, Free Boxing Blog, or all forms of social media. Uh, the boxing book it comes out to you for every single major fight, showing you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to bring down the house and consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. <clears throat> Uh, also, join the Patreon link is in the description. It's also in the banner below. Just five dollars a month gets you the lock of the week. It gets you all types of different perks. It gets you all different type of prop bets. Uh, so you had to make money in any single fight. Ask me. It gets you ask the bookie anything. It also gets you uh, re request the video, request the fight. I'll show you how to make money in any single fight. It's a free T-shirt involved. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments. Uh, below, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Five dollars a month gets you all that, all those perks. Also, subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, let's get into today's show. Let's get into it. Uh, Gary Antoine Russell, Southpaw, power boxer. Gary Russell's. The original Gary Russell Jr. meets Sean Porter. Like, it's something like that. He is a unique fighter, come forward guy. He's a lot different than what y'all think. Or maybe not you guys, because you guys know what he's talking about. But if you're just thinking he's going to be a bot, that's not it. He's a hitter. He's got great power. He's physically strong as a mule. This guy, I think Gary Russell is one of the best kept secrets. In Gary Antoine Russell is one of the best kept secrets in the sport. Phenomenal. Phenomenal talent, phenomenal skills, phenomenal strength, phenomenal power. I, I think he's a five star. Uh, we call him a prospect at this point. Yo, know, he's got a win over Bartholomew and Postal, so I guess we can't call him a prospect. Two former world champions, uh, but he's a high level guy, man. 17 and 0, 17 knockouts, 140 pound animal. Good, good double jab, great feet. Stays in front of you. He cuts off the ring. He's got great feet, and he doesn't use his feet to run. He uses it to cut you. Off and stay in front of you. Good athlete, super quick, strong, great pop, good volume, good counter puncher, violent, aggressive, come forward nature. Like you, this is a guy who likes violence. Um, makes you uncomfortable. He keeps he keeps on you. He keeps in front of you. He keeps hard shots raining down on you. You know, you're avoiding daggers in there with him. He he makes you really 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 uncomfortable. Good subtle head movement too. You know, uh, he's not his brother defensively because he's a much different style. But he's got nice little subtle head moves, just slide off, offline, make you miss. Extremely pinpoint accurate on the power stuff from the long range. This is a guy that can, he wants to be on the inside. He wants to you'll maul you and, and beat you up. But he can box beautifully from the mid range and from the outside. It's a guy that can fight at all three distances for sure. He's also a great body puncher. He just goes down and checks every single box, every single box, every single box. Um, he's quick and explosive. His his best shot is, is that that left that straight left. Like I said, he's a little bit Gary Russell meets Sean Porter. Like I think of that combination. Like that's what he is. He, there's no other comp out there to this guy. I am extremely, extremely high on Gary Antoine Russell. He uses his jab beautifully to set up his other stuff. I mean, you can see he's got all of the tools, all of the education, all of the smarts from that family, but then he has freakish power and strength too. It's just going to be a lot to deal with. Like this is their best 140 pounder by, by a mile. PBC had, you know, Brandon Lee, Omar War, all these guys, all these really good 140 pounders. This is their prize. This is their prize jewel here. Well, like if everyone who they have who hasn't won a world title, this is their best fighter. Alberto Puello, his opponent, Dominican guy, boxer mover, quick, fires up combos, typical back foot guy. I mean, mostly back foot, quick hands. Doesn't commit to his shots. He's not. He's not a hitter. He fires off shots, but there's a lot of arm punches. He, he's winging arm punches. 
Um, there's not a lot of he, he can't hit. I don't know how he's going to keep Gary Russell all of them. I'd like Puyo to a degree. I don't love him. I, I, I think once he gets to the high level, his lack of power, his lack of commitment to his shots are, are going to catch up to him. But he's a good athlete, good movement, right? Quick shots, quick hands, quick feet. He can get pushed back and he can get pushed around. And that's not going to bode well for him with Gary Antoine Russell. He mixes up his shots while he goes down to the body. Good body punch. Like he mix, mixes in uh, the, the, the right hook to the body. He relies on his speed and his athleticism for defense. He, he's patient and he picks his spots well. Or he doesn't waste a lot of shots. He, he picks them well. He'll flurry in combination. He, he lands pretty well. He's, you know, he, he's your typical mover athlete, right? He doesn't really sit down or settle down on his punches. But he fires them off. He fires off power shots. He lands them. He's fairly accurate with them. You know, so at the low levels, he can outclass, outquick these guys, but at the highest level. And when we're talking about Gary Antoine Russell, we're talking about a guy who's at the highest level. It's just going to come up short. You know, it's just not going to – he may win a round or two or three, but it, ultimately I, he may get stopped. He's going to get beat down eventually, and it's going to become one-sided, I think, in the second half of the fight. Um, let's take a look at the odds on this. Let me pull this up. For you. Give me just one second. This was a bet. It's minus 700. Yeah. All right, Gary Antoine Russell. He's minus 700. Not the best odds. It's not the best odds in the world. I I think it'll honestly be wider. You know, it's not, it's not terrible. You should take this. Uh, one and a half times bet. $100 bet is going to make it 21.42. This is a great bet to add uh, to your parlay. Even this, Gary Antoine Russell by stoppage is still minus 180. I would feel comfortable putting half a bet on that, but it's really not going to make you any money. So, you know, a $200 bet here is going to make you $48. I'd leave it alone. I, I would add this to any parlay. I think this is a great bet. It's safe to add to your parlay. The odds are atrocious. Like I said, I would actually make the wise, the odds a little wider. I, I don't think Playo has much of a chance to win this at all. Uh, basically, this tells me Gary Russell's a 7-1 favorite. I think it should be like 9-1. to one. So, Consider this lucky that it's my only minus 700. It's up from minus 600 and 650, I saw. So I like to add this to a parlay. On its own, it's obviously not going to make you a ton of money. But if you want to lock it in, just take profit, take profit, take profit. Do it. It's going to hit. It's going to make money. The odds are atrocious on this. I, I think that should be wider. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts. Ooh, did, did I? Let me show that to you one more time. Does that not show up for you guys? Yeah, minus 700. Again, it's not a terrible bet. It's not going to make you a ton of money. You know, we can't get rich on every fight, but lock it in. Take the profit. Throw it in your parlay. Uh, join the Patreon. You know, we can look at props. I don't love this by stoppage because it's still minus 180 for the stoppage, which I don't love. So just take the, take the money, lock it in, move on to the next one. Let me know what you guys think. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Just five dollars a month. Get you all the perks. Get you all the benefits. Uh, it gets you the lock of the week. It gets you all of the props. We break down all the props. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I'm losing my brain here. All right. It is uh, June 12th, 2024 from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless.